Solve for x in the domain of 0 to 2 pi. Now in this series we are taking a couple of questions. We are taking just four questions to be very specific. And uh, our idea here is to teach you how the domain changes when the argument changes. And when I say argument, I mean this, right? Sine 3x, so this has become 3x. It is no more x, right? You should consider this as like sine theta. Consider this as sine theta equals to square root 2 over 2. Consider your question like this. So the angle is theta, right? So that is the argument for our trigonometric function which we are talking about. The variable which we are working with. Okay, so question 1 here is sine 3x equals to square root 2 over 2. A simple question but a really complicated one and I find students making a lot of mistakes while solving this type of question right and that's the reason why we have four videos on just this particular topic as how the domain changes correct and followed by those four videos will be trigonometric equations where you have to make judgments and get the right answers correct now when we say sine 3x equals to square root 2 over 2, we can always find what value of theta will give us square root 2 over 2, right? And we know this is from our special triangle and that one is with 45 degrees or pi by 4, right? So this angle is pi by 4 and if it is 90, that is pi by 4 and the sides for us are 1, 1 and square root. Well, square root 2 over 2 is a rationalization of this. I want to explain you this point also. Many students get confused with that thing also. So you can also multiply everything by square root 2. Then this becomes square root 2. This becomes square root 2. And square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Correct. So we get the same triangle. And we have square root 2 as your sides rather than 1. The advantage of this is, in both the cases, what is sine pi by 4? In both cases, sine pi by 4 is actually equals to 1 over square root 2. 1 over square root 2. Correct? We don't really write 1 over square root 2 because that's not a good practice. We rationalize it. We don't want radicals in the denominator. So when you rationalize it, that means when you multiply by square root 2 in the numerator and in denominator, you get square root 2 over 2, correct? That is, sine 45 or pi by 4 is square root 2, which is opposite side over hypotenuse of 2. Is it okay? So both are exactly the same things. Now, so we know from here that the related acute angle for us, which gives us the solution, is pi by 4 or 45 degrees, correct? Now, I'm just saying 45 degrees and not pi by 4. Some of my students are working in 0 to, in degrees, right? So let me just change this. 0 to 360 degrees, right? So now it makes more sense. Now the thing is, it is not just cos x which we are looking forward to as square root 2 over 2. It is, or it is actually not just sine x which is equals to square root 2 over 2 but it is sine 3x so what difference does that make sine 3x what difference does 3x makes this is what i want to explain you look here we have domain and this domain is for x we say well x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to 2 pi how about 3x? Let me multiply by 3 and then we get, well, for 3x, it should be 6 pi, 3 times 2. Oh, that means for angle theta, we are actually looking for 0 to 2 pi where theta is 3x. Do you see that? Do you understand that? So, so normally in 0 to 2 pi, what most of the students will do is, they know sine is positive in two quadrants. They'll apply the cost rules, CAST, and they say, well, sine is positive here, all are positive, and here. And therefore, we get two answers. One is, of course, pi by 4, 
The other one is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. So they get two answers, pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4. And that works because that seems to be between 0 to 2 pi. But are these just the answers? The question is not sine x equals to square root 2 over 2. The question is sine 3x. Do you get the point? And for 3x, the domain actually changes to 0 to 6 pi. Do you get it? So, normally, normally, let me just draw a sine wave here to just give you an idea about how this will look like. So, I'm purposely making three waves here. One, two, and three. So this is the value of let's say x, right? So, and this is 0 and this is 2 pi. Is that okay? Or 360 degrees, whatever you may say. So when we draw sine 3x, then there will be three waves in it. Do you understand? Each with a time period of one third of 2 pi. And if we are looking for a value of square root 2 over 2, then see, which is positive, then how many solutions do we expect? You see that? We expect six solutions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see those solutions? We expect six solutions. How are you going to do if you don't change your domain? That is why it is a must. And I hope you understand this point by having the visual look at your spread out sine wave. You see there are 3 in 2 pi. So there are 6 answers, not just 2 as many students will do, right? So what are the other answers? The other answers are 2 more circles, right? So let's write down all the possible answers for this and we we'll say well 3x is now actually equals to yes pi by 4. The other one is 3 pi by 4 and now let's add 2 pi to them, correct? 2 pi. So when we are saying 2 pi to them, then what we mean? This pi has got 4, right? Divisions, the total will be 8, right? So this is like 8 pi by 4. Do you understand 8 pi by 4? So 2 pi means we add 8 pi by 4 in all, correct? So let's add by 8. And if I add 8 here, I get 9 pi by 4 plus 8 here, so 8 plus 3 is 11 pi by 4. That makes 2 pi 4 pi, but we have to go to 6 pi, correct? And therefore, we got to add 8 more. So, we are running out of space here. So, let me write down my answer slightly shifted. Okay, let me write like this. So, I am writing my answers as 11. I am adding 8 more and then I say, well, 3x is also equals to one more cycle. So 8 plus 9 is 17 pi by 4. And 8 plus 11 is 19 pi by 4. So these are 3x values. So what is the value of x? Value of x is one third of these. So x is pi by 12, 3 pi by 12, 9 pi by 12, 11 pi by 12, and for these, we get, I may, I'll extend here, 17 pi by 12 and 19 pi by 12. Do you see that? Still, 19 pi by 12 is less than 2 pi. Do you get the point? So you get all your answers within x equals to 0 to 2 pi. But if you would not have considered this change in domain, then you would have lost all these answers and you would have got just two of them, which would be wrong. I hope with this you appreciate and understand how to change the domain when the angle given is not just x but something else, correct? So that is how you do it. And we have four more examples to come so that you understand this concept. I hope you enjoy this journey and understand it fairly well. Thank you. All the best.